Hello guys. So to initialize our Google Map, the first thing we need to do is is to bring in our Google Map packages. You know, we need to download the map SDK, you know, from the Nugget package manager, right? So let's go over to our Nugget package manager and do that immediately. All right? So so right click here. Go to our manage Nugget package. Okay, so we are in a Nugget package manager. So I want to search for Xamarin Google, all right? This is gonna pull up all Google APIs that we actually be needing. So this is the one we need for maps, all right? So we, we're gonna download maps, okay? So we install maps. And also, we need one more dependency. This was supposed to add automatically, but it didn't. If you don't have it, your map might not actually work very well. So we're going to need to pull in the base. Google Play Services base. Okay, so now we have that. So let's close this up. Like I always said, rule of thumb. After you know installing a new Nugget package, just go ahead and build to ensure that everything you know comes together. So our build is successful. Now the next thing we need to do is is to add the map fragment to our main layout. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the include main. main so what we need to do is to open the include main XML. All right, so this is where all our design is, okay? So we're gonna need to add the map fragment to this place. All right, to do that, we're going to add the map fragment under as the first item inside our frame layout. The reason for this is because we want the map to fill the entire screen and we want other elements, other of our views you know to layer on top of our map okay so we're gonna go ahead and add the map fragment so say fragment say Android no ID call to map that will be the ID of our map then we're gonna give it some height layout height which will be match parent and we're gonna give it some weight of course which will be match parent and and lastly we need to add a class all right this is where the whole magic happens all right so we're gonna say com dot google dot android dot gms dot maps dot support map fragment that's all we need to do guys ensure that you spell this appropriately because if you don't it might actually not work very well okay so as you can see <laughs> the background in this place actually changed is because um, of this fragment that we just added okay so the next thing we need to do is to head over to our main activity and pull a reference of our map so in our on create method we're going to define a support map fragment map fragment so let's bring a reference of this okay GMS maps. So we're gonna call this map fragment, which will be equal to a cast of support map fragment map fragment then support fragment manager dot find find fragment by id resource dot id dot map okay 
Hmm. So we're gonna say map fragment dot get map async. So this actually needs us to implement or map ready callbacks. Okay, we're gonna say this, and we go over here and say I on map ready callback. So we're going to implement this interface. All right, bam. So our interface is ready. So this is where we can actually grab the instance of Google Maps. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is to define our own Google Map so that whenever the on map ready is called, we'll just grab that instance. All right, and work with it. So let's define Google Map here. I'm gonna say Google Map. We're gonna call ours. Let's just call it Main Map. So now, whenever the on map ready function is called, I want to say main map equal to Google Map. But before we conclude and say that we're done, we need to, of course, add some few permissions. All right. So we're going to open our properties, our project properties, or you can call it our manifest file. But we can actually, you know, do a lot of changes from the from our project properties. So let's go to uh, manifest from our project properties. Let's scroll down. We need to add some permissions. The first is going to be access coerce location. So we need to give permission of access find location. We need to give permission access network state. And we need to give it access to internet as well. So look for internet, give it permission for internet. And the last one, we need to give permission for write external storage. Write external storage. Okay. So guys, we are done. So now finally, we need to get into the codes of our manifest. And we need to add our Google Map API key to that place. So to access that, we'll go to our properties and go to manifest.xml, okay? So you can see the permissions that we added. So inside of this application tag, we need to add some method data to it. And one of the metadata will be our Google Map API key, all right? So let's expand this. So if you guys remembered in the last class, we saved our, you know, our map key which is what we have in our string.xml, which is this, our map key. So we're actually going to grab this, okay? So let's go back to our XML and say meta data, Android name, equal to, equal to com.google.android.geo, dot api underscore key so guys ensure that you spell these things appropriately okay you don't want to be looking for what made it not to work properly all right so ensure that you double check string slash map key okay so now we need to add another tag say meta data android dot net the name equal to com dot google dot android dot geo dot gmx dot version now the value will be at integer at integer slash google underscore play underscore play underscore services underscore version so guys that's all we need to do okay so let's save this so we'll, we'll now try to run an app to ensure that everything works just the way we want it to okay so let's go ahead and run our app okay so our build is completing boom 
so we have a map so guys this is just how to add google map to our application all right so in the next class we're going to be looking at how to add map customizations you know to add different styles to it okay so guys see you in the next class